a lot of times it's easy to be critical or put other people down because we don't know what it feels like to walk in someone else's shoes. So in today's video, I'm going to talk about what's it like to walk in someone else's shoes. Welcome to day 48 of my 90 day self-awareness challenge. If you don't know who I am, my name is Mike Chavez and I'm currently on a 90 day video challenge where I discuss things that I'm self-aware about. I'm here in the fabulous city of Las Vegas. Let me know where in the world that you're tuning in from. If you're new to my broadcast, please let me know down below. I always share why I'm talking about a particular video topic. And, you know, I started thinking about what it's like to walk in other people's shoes because, you know, I've been very guilty of this in the past of thinking that maybe somebody should be doing something or they should be thinking differently or like, why do they do that? Right? Well, a lot of times we don't know what it's like to be in somebody else's shoes. I have big feet. I have a size 11. And uh, yesterday I went to the thrift store and I saw these amazing brand new pair of shoes and I wanted them so bad. Um, but I, they were size 10 and I tried them on and they just didn't fit. Um, they were so close, but they didn't fit. And the reason that I'm telling you that is because I thought it was a pretty funny analogy, right? Uh, about walking in someone else's shoes, literally walking in, in someone else's shoes. We don't know what it's like. We don't know where their feet have been. We don't know what they've walked through, what they've gone through in life. So we should all have a little bit of grace when it comes to dealing with other people. You know, I like to imagine before I react or respond to somebody, especially if they're coming at me in a in a negative way or maybe they're trying to sh throw some shade on me and I always just sit and stop and I pause and I think to myself, what has this other person been through? What have they walked through in their life to bring them to the point where they want to be like this? You know, because I have no idea where their feet have been, what they've gone through. And so... I should have a lot more grace. When I put myself in that place of what it would be like to walk in somebody else's shoes, I have a lot more grace for people. When we really start to think about that, we can have a lot of grace for other people. Let's face it, there's always somebody that can get on your nerves and we can use this as a very good tool to imagine what the other person may have been through and what it's like to walk in their shoes. I hope today that you have the most fantastic and phenomenal Sunday. It's beautiful here in Las Vegas. I'm going to go enjoy the rest of my day. But think about it. You know, do you ever stop and wonder what other people have been through? Or do you just kind of not even think about it? Are you aware of that? Well, today I'm self-aware about being conscious of what it's like to walk in someone else's shoes. If you would like more information about our video challenge, it's free. It's here in our closed community live masters. If you're seeing this on my personal page, I'll put a new in the comments, especially if you would like information and access to our community live masters. We'll talk to you till late. We'll talk to you till later. <laughs> we'll talk to you later. You have a safe and healthy day when you give your eyeballs and your ears to me. I'm humbled and blessed. You've decided to give me your energy here in this video. I'll see you tomorrow. Happy Sunday, everybody.